do it because you asked. I'm a nice person. Uh, as of today, I'm officially fucking homeless again. Thus the gloves. You gotta have a good pair of homeless gloves. Uh, I'm not too happy about it. I have a girlfriend now. I've done everything to try to figure out why this woman is with me. I shaved my facial hair off so she could see that I'm a very handsome woman. That didn't work. <laughs> I pay a lot of child support, so obviously I'm not very responsible. Uh, I'm homeless. I'm just at this point, I was like, I need to meet this lady's dad. Like, I feel like we might have a lot in common. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got anybody out there drinking tonight? Huh? Get some tasty drinks from Joey, the man that I've seen naked bartender. <laughs> Neither of us were happy about it, but in the long run, I think it made our friendship kind of special. <laughs> like, I know how cold it was in that cabin that morning. <laughs> And I will never fucking forget it. <laughs> I'm a fucking quitter too, man. I, this is non-alcoholic beer. Don't let me fool you. I used to think I'd get away when I first quit drinking. I was like, oh, nobody will tell. I got a beer in my hand. A bartender was like, blue label was for pussies. I was like, oh, well, it's a good thing I am what I eat. Huh? Huh? So, uh, <laughs> I shouldn't admit to fingering myself till I come. I don't know. If <laughs> proper. Yeah, I quit drinking and now I drink fake beer. I fucking smoked weed since I was 13, man. I, I fucking identify as a hashtag metal stoner. That's what I've been my whole life. I used to talk and laugh like this, dude. Ah, that machine gun laugh. Ah, 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 ah. Now I quit smoking pot and I smoke CBD. Again, thank God I have a girlfriend because I can't afford a flashlight. You know, I'm just... Oh, hold on, let me take a drink of this. Let's see if I can feel anything. Nope, I like, still hate myself. These tweakers, man. Last night, I'm getting off work here, and I look out the window, and the tweaker's trying to steal one of our Mike's Hard Lemonade umbrellas. Uh, so I scared him off. That was cool. And I shit you not, I'm over at this wonderful 7-Eleven over here where they're now playing combat opera music to try to chase the tweakers away. Which there was a tweaker out there reading a book, and I, that bitch looks sophisticated as fuck, you know? She went to lick the page, had no teeth, drew all over the book, whatever. But, uh... I literally on my phone have a video of a tweaker inside by the ATM. He takes his shoes off and sets them down. And then he starts smoking meth inside the fucking store. And I'm like, man, I love this store, dude. This is great. <laughs> it is the tweakers. I, I remember when, like, I, I smoked a lot of crack growing up, man. Not growing up. I wasn't like five. Like, where's my crack crack? You know, like, <laughs> my first baking soda. Uh... But, uh, and, and I kept most of my teeth because, you know, we did use bacon soda. Bacon soda keeps you fresh. You know, not like sucking on lithium, you fucking idiot. <laughs> but, you know, we used to kind of, like, the heroin addicts used to be the worst thing out there. And uh, nowadays, it's tweakers, tweakers are terrifying. And they used to push around shopping carts, which is practical. You could attach a, a, a fucking uh, tarp to a shopping cart. You could put lots of stuff in it and later turn it into a meth pipe. But now they're pushing around these fucking baby carts, and that scares the fuck out of me. If you ever look inside one of those fucking baby carts and you see a baby, you need to call the fucking police, okay? Because that's not their fucking baby. And everybody knows.